Hi guys, Christy here again from Christy's Creations and I have another unboxing video. This time we are doing the Flexio um, Indoor Outdoor Paint Sprayer Model 3000. Yesterday I painted, my brothers and I painted our shed, which I'll show you in just a little bit. And we were struggling getting, um, we were painting the siding, so the siding has little grooves. We were struggling getting the rollers into the grooves and there are some spots that I missed that I just wanna hit again with the sprayer just to make sure that everything's uniformly covered and we don't have any chips or flaking later on down the road. I don't wanna paint this again five years from now. Like if I can make it go as long as I can, we're gonna do that. So we'll do an unboxing and I'll show you it in use. So today I'm going to paint all the siding. The siding is not on the shed yet. I wanna just get the white, it's gonna be white siding. Um, I'm just gonna spray it all, all four sides, and then I'll do some touch up paint after it's cut and that way I don't have to tape everything off. We're trying to save some labor here. Also, I did not get to the doors yesterday. I actually ran out of paint, so I had to go to the Home Depot today to get the paint and this sprayer. This sprayer retailed for $169, which is kind of expensive in my opinion, but I've never used a paint sprayer, so hopefully, fingers crossed that it was worth it. Um, I'll do a review at the end of today after I've used this and let you guys know what I think. So stay tuned. We're going to unbox this thing and put it to use. Okay, so I did a really bad job of talking during this unboxing video. And um, like after the first few minutes, I was just reading instructions and let the camera keep rolling. So I'm going to do a quick um, voiceover here just telling you what's inside the box. So that plastic packaging includes some instructions and a practice sheet to test the sprayer. The sprayer um, is what I'm holding right there and basically it's like a gigantic hair dryer and inside the box still there's two different cup and spray nozzle fittings. The bigger one um, it's a little bit closer it's closer to me. Um, that's what I ended up using this day to spray the shed. That one's meant for outdoor spraying, broader spraying, more like bigger volume because the cup is bigger. The one closest to the camera is a smaller nozzle and smaller cup. That one's meant for fine details or inside spraying. I actually ended up using the smaller one later on in the shed project to paint the siding, or I'm sorry, the trim, and it worked fantastic. It had very little like overspray, um, so it worked really good for that fine detail. What I'm holding right now is a wire bristle brush, um, and that actually did come in handy for cleaning afterwards. Um, also inside the packaging with the instructions are some cup liners. Those were pretty much worthless, so don't recommend even like wasting your time on it. I ended up wasting a lot of paint. Um, right there in the package in my hand, it is a, an air filter. So like if you're spraying outside, the motor doesn't suck up dust and there is one already inside the unit. So the ones in the packaging are just extra. So yeah, that's what's in the box. So here's our shed. This was a bear to paint yesterday and I'm going to have to go over it um, in a few places. I think I'll honestly just go over the whole thing. So like, I don't know if that shows up on camera, but right there it didn't take. And then these grooves, we spent a lot of time on these yesterday. Um, just trying to get the paint into the groove and there are still some spots that are not painted so I'm gonna go over it one more time today so hang with me it's gonna be another long hot day here in northern Nevada <laughs>
so overall, I am pretty impressed with how this did. I was kind of nervous spraying down because all the pictures you see in videos are spraying like a wall. Um, but it did fantastic and it got into all the grooves. Um, I started to run out of paint at the end there, but I like it so far. Okay, so I am done with the gray paint. I'm gonna switch over to white, but I'm curious to see if those little bags, the cup liner things actually make a difference with the cleanup. So I'm gonna clean up with the gray, um, and then I'm actually not going to put a liner, a liner in with the white, um, and I'll let you know what I think either way. Um, the liner kind of made it super difficult to um, refill, and I let it sit too long, I think. And it's really hard to open, um, but you can see, like, it kind of made a mess. I should probably unplug this before I do this. Look at that. There's paint all over. No wonder I was having issues. I was getting kind of frustrated because like that's quite a bit of paint. Um, but I was getting frustrated because I could feel that there was paint in there but it wasn't sucking up. So I'm curious if the liner was like occluding it somehow. So yeah, there's a ton of paint in there. Um, okay, spray it out. Hi guys, Christy here again. I just wanted to give a quick rundown on how I felt about the um, paint gun that I bought today, the Flexio Model 3000. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I think out of 10 stars, I would give it eight. There were some issues I had with it throughout the day. Um, the one that was most annoying was couple things actually there are two things that were really annoying to me off the top of my head number one is I wish that it had a block for the spray nozzle so you don't have to hold your fingers there the whole time I was using it for probably five hours today and my hand has blisters and it's like really sore from using it that much on average I won't be using it quite that much so it probably is never gonna be an issue again for me and the second issue I had was um, I had to constantly keep the thing clean, the spray nozzle, or else it would like spit. It wasn't a nice spray, it would like spit out in globs. And I don't know if that's because I didn't thin my paint. Um, it said I didn't have to, so I had it on the highest setting it would go with the highest volume. Um, and it did pretty good for most of the time, but if you watch through the time lapse, you can see me like stop midway through and then get down off the ladder and then like clean it off and go back up. Um, so on a big project like that, that can add some time on. Overall, I'm really happy that I did buy it though because it got into the grooves um, of that siding that I had such an issue with yesterday trying to get in with the roller. The only other option without a paint sprayer would to go through with a paintbrush 
Um, and with the height of that building, I don't know that that'd be possible for somebody of my height. Um, somebody that's six foot tall might not be an issue for, but um, yeah, overall very happy with it. Very glad I bought it. It is worth the money I feel. Um, with all the other products I have, I think I'm gonna be using that a lot. Especially going into summertime, there's all kinds of stuff that I like to paint. So, um, anyway, I hope you like this video. I'm gonna go shower and take an allergy pill because it is killing me today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.